नमस्ते जय हिंद दिस इज कुणाल मेहता फ्रॉम मेक मी साइंटिफिक एंड आई एम गोइंग टू रिपीट द बोर्ड प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ प्रिज्म वंस अगेन देर आर मेनी क्वेरीज इन दैट पर्टिक्युलर एक्सपेरिमेंट सो आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू मेक वीडियो वंस अगेन प्लीज नोट दैट दिस इज अ ग्लास प्रिज्म दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एंड अनलाइक द ग्लास स्लैब angle of incidence will not be equal to the angle of emergence it happens only in the glass lab many many people have commented that i should be equal to e but please understand that angle of incidence is equal to angle of emergence in all cases in case of glass lab not in case of prism it happens only in a special case which is known as minimum deviation case so when the prism is in minimum deviation at that time only the angle of incidence and emergence are equal so practically we don't know which angle we for the angle of incidence we will get the minimum deviation right so please do not expect that angle of incidence will be equal to angle of emergence in case of the glass prism right so now let's quickly proceed further and i'm going to make the angle of incidence 45 degree this time and i'm going to repeat the practical so as you can see that i have uh, clamped the two softboard pins on an a4 size paper these are some basic stationeries and this a4 size paper is well attached on this wooden board so now we are going to take the prism and we are going to place it exactly at the center of the a4 size paper we are going to press it with our thumb and we are going to outmark it like this okay now exactly at the center i am going to make a dot then i am going to place the protractor and one dot i am going to make it at 90 degree another at 45 degree this line is the normal which is perpendicular to the surface now this is going to be my incident ray this is 90 degree this is 45 degree so the angle of incidence is 45 degree now we are going to place two pins which are at least at a distance of 5 cm from each other please note that when you fix the pins you will find the pins to be not piercing at some locations so you try different areas do not take up the prism and try to bang it right that looks very very odd so now approximately i would think that the distance is more than yes it is more than 5 cm this is roughly 6. 6 cm no it's all approximately 7 cm okay so we are good to go now i am going to place the prism back at the traced location and then i am going to see the images of these two pins from this side and then i am going to place another two pins here such that one here and the another here such that these two pins and the images of these two pins appear in a perfect straight line you need to get down from where you are sitting and you need to close one of your eyes your eyes must be parallel to the surface of the board as you can check by yourself that the images of those two blue pins they are appearing from this side of the prism
Now here you are able to see that all four pins they are appearing in the perfect straight line. This step has to go very very well for the accuracy of the experiment. Now I am going to remove the pins and mark the prick locations. I am going to place the prism back at a safe place, remove these two pins and now I am going to join these two points with this prism surface. Let me name the prism surfaces as A, B, C. Then I am going to join these two points P1 and P2 which are the prick locations with the surface AC of the prism. This is going to be my emergent ray. Now I am going to join these two points. This is say point P3 and this is point P4. This is going to be my refracted ray. Refracted ray. This is incident ray. This is refracted ray. This one is the emergent ray. Now very carefully, I am going to place the protractor back at surface AC. And this point should be matching with this point, like this. This line of the protractor should match with surface AC. Now pointing at 90 degree, this is my normal. I am going to join these two points. Let the normal be long enough. So this is my angle of emergence E and I am going to measure the angle of emergence by using the protractor. Please put the protractor like this such that this line should match with our emergent ray like this one and this point of the protractor must match with the this particular point. So I am getting the angle of emergence as this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 roughly around 53 degrees. So this is the angle of emergence which is 53 degrees. Now how would we find out the angle of deviation? You need to extend this emergent ray backwards with a dotted line like this and extend the incident ray forward like this. Then the angle which is formed, this angle is the angle of deviation. So we are going to put the protractor back at its place like this and then we are going to measure the angle of deviation. Yeah. So from here to here this is 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree and this is somewhere around 38 degrees. So the angle of deviation is roughly 38 degrees and please understand that I and E are not equal. Now I am just going to write down all the angles over here. This would be our angle of refraction. Let us measure that too. For that I will have to extend this refracted ray forward like this one and then 10, 20, 30, roughly around 33 degrees is the angle of refraction. You can also verify with the help of the Snell's law. So angle of incidence is 45 degree. You can also find out the refractive index using these two values. The angle of emergence and deviation are as follows. Sorry, this is 38 degree and this is 53 degrees. Now, I plus E should be equal to A plus delta, but since we are doing the experiment, there can be a human error of about 1 or 2 degrees. That's perfectly fine. You need not to exactly make them equal. Okay. So I is 45 degree plus E. So that is 45 plus 53. This answer turns to be around 98 degrees. Whereas A plus delta 
a plus delta is equal to the angle of prism is 60 degrees because it's an equilateral triangle so 60 degrees plus 38 degrees so this is perfectly 98 degrees i was not expecting this one but if you really do it with a great rigor, you may get the correct answer. If these two are not equal, that's perfectly fine. Many people have commented a lot about this, that these two angles are not equal, but that's perfectly fine. Two degrees error here and there is allowed in the experiment. You need not to worry about that. So now, all the angles are given. And similarly, you can make the angle of incidence as 60 degrees, 30 degrees, other angles, and then you can find out the other angles as well. Finally, you will need to plot a graph of I and delta. So here the angle of deviation and then here the angle of incidence. And then for all the other values, you will have to plot the graph for angle of incidence and for the angle of deviation, you will get similar kind of graph. This is the point which is the minimum deviation, delta minimum. And over here at that angle, the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of emergence. So you have to obtain that part graphically. So I hope this practical is now very much clear to you. Still, if you have any doubts, please do comment in the comment section. And I am really, really very, very thankful to all of you that your support has made my channel a very, very big success. So once again, Pranam and Namaskar to everybody. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.